what is the situation now as far as the supply is concerned given last week's snow and then this week's icy weather? Where, where does the supply stand as far as your office is concerned for the hospitals in this area? So we started seeing a decline early, um, actually earlier, yeah, earlier in January, obviously coming off the holiday season, we, we, we took a little bit of a hit and then we started seeing some making up a little bit of ground. Um, and then we went on an appeal um, on January 25th. Um, and when we do that, that means we have less than one day supply. We like to have three to five day supply of blood on, on the shelf. And that mean we, means we dip to, to less than one day supply. So we started that appeal after the first weather event that happened um, that, that had us uh, cancel some blood drives. Um, we started gaining a little more traction at the end of the week, uh, coming back up. And then the second one happened, second event happened that, that, that hurt us really, really bad. Um, and, and right now we, we've seen probably about 10 blood drives that have canceled on us um, over a three-day period of time. And there's um, danger that we'll have some more cancel on us tomorrow uh, as well. So when that happens, um, what we what we try to do is go out and find some new places to go, even if it's setting up in a Walmart parking lot and, you know, understanding that the weather is bad and we don't want anybody to uh, to get hurt or, or to, to be in any car accident. But, it, you know, if you're in that area and can make it to our blood drives, man, it sure would help us out. Because one thing that doesn't take a break are the patients in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, you know, we've been fortunate enough so far to, to keep up with the demand but it's getting pretty low. Um, the supply is getting pretty low and pretty serious that if we don't do something, um, you know, over the next week, uh, we're going to be in big trouble. And, and there is a chance that our, that our hospitals don't see the blood that they need, which in turn, you know, means that there's going to be patients in the hospitals that they don't get the treatment that they need. Um, and unfortunately that could mean death. We hope that we can keep, you know, that from happening for sure. And we'll do everything that we can. Um, you know, we, we've set up in the middle of this ice storm at a Walmart in Van Buren and, and, and just drawing a handful, but that's a handful that's going to get to those hospitals. It's going to make a difference in somebody's life. Does it come down to that where you just have to find a place to set up in the midst of the, a storm like this, a winter storm like this? That's about the only option there is. Yeah. And, and we, we had a plan in place where we've had some emergency um, um, accounts that would allow us to come to their blood drive. But it's gotten to where so many people have become accustomed to be and being able to work from home thanks to COVID. You know, they figured out how to, how, to, how to work from home. So it doesn't do us any good to go to those places because everybody's working from home. Um, you know, places that that, that had um, um, staff, that the essential staff that had to come in are now even going to, towards working from home and just keeping skeleton crews there. And if you're on a skeleton crew, you can't get away from your job duties to be able to donate. So it doesn't do us any good. So we have to look for public uh, um, locations to go to. And unfortunately, sometimes that's uh, it's a little dangerous. Um, but but again, you know, we're, we're in the type of business where we can't we can't just throw our hands up and say, you know, well, we'll get them. We'll get them next time. You know, we got to try to keep going after those those donors where we can. And, and I'm sure, you know, at some points it gets pretty annoying to them by us calling them. And, and but that's the only method that we have to be able to to reach out to our um, um um, past donors to, be, to to see if they can come in and help us out. All right. So once this all clears, um, and full steam ahead, how do you how do you make this all up now to get back to where you need to be? So we have some partners that that we have already had blood drops scheduled with. Um, starting Thursday, Baptist Hospital here in Fort Smith has has agreed to extend hours. Um, we have the crew to go out there. Uh, the original blood drive was going to be from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And they're going to allow us to stay all day. And we're going to be there from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. to try to draw a little extra and, and get some support from the hospitals, um, which they are very good to us. Both of our hospitals are very good to us to, to answer the call when we need blood donors. So we have that in place. We have our blood center uh, here in Fort Smith that's open on Wednesday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. We ask people to come in, you know, as soon as that weather turns to where you can get out, man, we're going to need all that we can get. And then we'll be open again on Saturday from um, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, accepting donations. So anytime you see a blood drive out in the community, man, we just ask that, that, that you attend that. And and um, over the next week, it's going to be very critical that we that we go over the amount that we are actually going out for because uh, we got we got some ground to make up. All right, Danny, as always, thank you so much for your help. You bet. Thank you all.